friends, welcome to my channel where I discuss tech and travel. In today's video, I wanted to discuss the ultimate Leak Code study plan for beginners. This is a fully comprehensive study plan that will help you nail your interviews when it comes to any big tech or fang company. So be sure to stay until the end so that you can fully leverage the tips and advice that I'm able to give you throughout this video. But before we get started, I would really like it if you hit like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and it motivates me to make more videos in the future. So let's get started. When getting started with your study plan, it's always important to know exactly what's expected of you before starting on that path. For the most part, it's absolutely essential that you really have a solid understanding of data structures and algorithms. So before you even hit the leap code studying, I would actually look up all the data structures and algorithms that you may have weaknesses on. And then I would go and figure out what those data structures are, what those algorithms are, figure out what the definitions are as well. Examples include, but are not limited to, hash maps, tree maps, linked hash maps, tries, stacks, queues, priority queues, binary tree, binary search tree, breadth per search, depth per search, dynamic programming, sliding window, bit manipulation, linked lists, arrays, and two arrays. So once you've identified those concepts, the best way to get started is to actually zero in on one of those concepts. And it may be your biggest weakness. What you should then do is actually look at the definition, try to understand what exactly that term is. Like for example, you can try to figure out what a hash map is if you don't know what that structure is. And then once you have researched it on your own time, you would jump into leak code and there's actually a way to filter by topic. So again, there's a reason that you've written down all these different data structures and algorithms. Now what you have to do is choose three to five easy questions for the first concept that you've picked. In this case, we're using hash maps as an example. So you would then click on hash maps and it would show you a problem set that utilizes hash maps. Then what you would do is scroll through, kind of pick a few that you think might be helpful to you. Three to five is kind of the rule of thumb. And then what you would end up doing is actually trying to solve to a day. So if you were to have, let's say 25 different data structures and algorithms that you want to focus on, and you plan to do three to five questions per topic, you would probably do roughly a hundred easy questions. Now remember, this is just for the easy questions. We haven't gotten to medium or hard yet. So what I would do in the beginning is practice two problems a day and it might be a little bit difficult when you first start out the easy questions are not all that easy. So what I would do is do a question. If it takes you longer than 45 minutes to an hour, then I would just look at the solution right away. It doesn't benefit you to just continue trying to solve that problem if it takes hours and hours and hours. There is a point of diminishing returns. So what you'll do is after 45 minutes to an hour, look at the solution, really dig deep and try to understand how they came up with that solution. Typically, Leak Code gives you solutions that are fully optimized as well as the brute force version. You can also go watch YouTube videos online. I'm a visual learner, so that's what I did when I didn't fully understand some of the medium and hard problems. Once you learn conceptually how to actually solve that problem, you can eventually apply those same patterns to other lead code problems that you find. So that's why it's really important that you understand the solution to those problems that you're having trouble on. After about two to four weeks, you're gonna start getting really comfortable with those easy problems, so you can then increase your problem set to three to four easy problems a day. Once you get to the point where you've finished your 100 problems, then you should take an online assessment. And the way to take an online assessment is, if you look above, there are several tabs. One of them is the online assessment tab. So you can click on that, and then you can see that there are multiple companies that have different online assessments and they vary from that initial phone screen to the first round interview all the way to that final round interview. So you can go ahead and just get started on the phone screen of your company. If your company isn't listed and you scroll down to the bottom, um, there's like a general interview section that you can also look at, but I would pick one of the harder companies just so you're over prepared. Once you finish that online assessment, 
then I would say that you are done with easy questions. If you have a pretty good grasp on all of the questions that you've done, and again, you need to go back and forth and research the actual definitions of those data structures and algorithms that you wrote down just to have a full understanding. I know that aspect may seem like a waste of time, but trust me, it's gonna save you a lot of time in the long run. Once you've finished those 100 problems, I would basically rinse and repeat for the medium questions. You don't have to solve three to five medium questions. It's totally up to you. This Leak Code study plan is particularly for someone who has three months to study and maybe only wants to study for a couple hours a day. So what I would do then is try to get about three medium questions done per concept. And a lot of these concepts will start to overlap as you continue to do questions. Like for example, 2D arrays and breadth first search or depth first search go together pretty well. There's other concepts such as a binary search tree or a binary tree that also uses BFS and DFS. So as you start to see these problems mesh together and you're seeing repetitive patterns, it'll start to click more in your head as well. So do three to four problems for the mediums. Again, since you'll have maybe 25 concepts in this example, try to get through all of those concepts. Once you've completely finished practicing and not spending more than 45 minutes to an hour on a specific problem, then I would go look at the solutions and then eventually take another online assessment. This time, instead of the initial phone screen assessment, I would just go ahead and take that first or second round interview online assessment. Another Another thing I would say is if you're interviewing for a specific company that Leak Code has listed online, sometimes it helps to actually click into that company and then what you can do is actually choose specific problems that have been recently asked by that company. Now it doesn't guarantee that you'll get those exact questions, there are way too many questions to be asked exactly the same ones, but it does kind of show you what patterns they're looking for and what types of concepts that they like to focus on. Like for example, with Meta, I noticed that they tend to stick to those more medium problems, but they do care about speed, so they ask you two medium problems per 40 minutes versus a place like Google, LinkedIn, or Microsoft, they did ask harder questions and they did give you the full 40 minutes, but they were more so looking at your problem solving skills with things like recursion and dynamic programming. So once you've rinsed and repeat the whole process with the medium questions, I would then go on to start solving hard questions. Again, it's less likely that you'll get a hard question and be expected to solve it. They're more so looking at your problem solving skills, but I would definitely familiarize myself with some of the hard questions. I would do one hard question per concept, and honestly, even that's a lot. Um, the hard questions are hard, but if you do learn one hard question per concept, I think you'll be in a very good place to continue with your interview process. So hopefully you found this Leak Code study plan helpful. It's a very generalized approach. It does kind of give you a little bit more structure as to what exactly you should be doing when you're prepping for these companies. Now you don't want to burn yourself out by doing a bunch of questions each day. You do want to space it out so that you are not forgetting questions as well. So again, starting out with two easy questions a day and then kind of promoting yourself to three to four easy questions questions a day and then going to those two medium questions a day and eventually one hard question a day. And this should take you about three months. If you have 25 concepts, you may pick about 100 easy problems and then 75 to 100 medium problems as well as 25 hard problems. So you could be looking at doing over 200 questions. And I know the number of questions varies. That's kind of another controversial topic. I won't get into that as well. Well, everyone is different and everyone needs a different number of questions in order to feel fully prepared. Um, but this is just my own experience, my own leak code study plan. And if you are a visual learner like me, I could also recommend using Algo Expert. That's something that I leverage and it's something that I actually really benefited off of. They have fully comprehensive videos that walk through the conceptual overview. And then they also go through the coding aspect of the problem. So they dedicate about an hour's worth of video footage towards each problem that they give you. And I think they give you a total 
of 160 problems. So again, it's not as many problems as on Leak Code, but it's the quality of the content that they are banking on giving you. So thank you so much for watching until the end. Um, if you got this far and you like the video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it helps to motivate me continue to make more videos. If you haven't already, leave a comment below on what your Leak Code study plan was when you were prepping for these interviews. I'm curious to see what other people did. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.